Okay, we're back. Um, it's been a few years that I haven't molded or modified this car. Um, I don't know. I think it was good enough for me until I, I said I finally said, you know what? It's time for for me to upgrade this car. The parts getting old. Um, it still runs okay, but um, I just needed a little bit of. Um, something new about you know um how 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 the car feels when it accelerates when it brakes when it runs it when it takes off so i just want to mo modify a little bit of anything anyway um this car is pro tune it's almost stage three at this time it was uh, professionally tuned by a uh, professional so this was just not like a bolt on and then go so i have a cob, cob access port that I'm using so um, so far uh, Cobb I already installed the intake box here so this is the this is the intake box it is an easy install it's about maybe 30 minutes 30 minutes of installation and everything's good so that box is done the next one was the the air oil separator that part air oil separator that this one right here the hoses so it separates the the oil and you know one, once there's a combustion inside the engine with a blow blow off, blow, blow off um whatever that's happening inside that engine the air or the condensation of the uh, oil needs to come out and be recirculated back to the engine and um, I changed the hoses in here that hoses too and yesterday um, well, I'm just gonna install this hella today probably it's gonna take me like maybe 30 minutes or an hour so yesterday I installed the new injectors, the cob, the 1050. But these are the old ones that I removed. Look how dirty that is. It's old dirt. Couldn't. I only have like 80 miles or 80,000 miles on this car. It's a uh, how old is this? 12 year old car, but look at how dirty those injectors are. So it was a difficult install because you have to remove these brackets here, this one right here. And you have to work on those tight spaces. Those tight spaces on the side. <clears throat> spaces here. So the real now. The, the fuel rails are all exposed now, so everything's good. I also, um, the fuel line regulator is also upgraded. So, you know, it's almost, this car has almost brand new parts inside. I changed the, um, also the, mass airflow sensor here I also change the auto sensors the front and the, the back um, pretty soon I will uh, install also this killer bee pick up oil pick up because the stuck ones they are known to to, to break so this one is has a stronger construction on how they, they built this so usually the stock breaks right here or right here this one is a killer bee product so I'll probably install this one later maybe in a couple of weeks because I had to lift the car remove the oil pan and um, so I'll take my time I'm just gonna have fun in installing everything so in the meantime, um, um, yep, I'm going to install the 
tail uh, horn. I have to remove the bumper and everything. <coughs> so, yep, uh, my back hurts on these injectors, man. It was just a pain in the butt. And working on all those small, small areas there, the hoses. I have to remove the inter intercooler. Putting the intercooler back is a pain in the butt because that hose doesn't go through right like you really have to um put like a little lubricant lubricant in there and then um you know but i did it so i'm happy with my upgrade so far that's the oil separator there oh man that thing that red can is about like 400 bucks but hopefully, um, you know, it will save my day. It will save, it will make the car more reliable along the way. And what else? Oh, I also put the, there is the upgrade that I did last time too. The, um, what you call this one? You do the bypass, uh, there's like a little hose there that bypass the, um, the four cylinder it's known to, to heat up you know it it's known to have a less uh, circulation of the coolant so i use the the pro what, what products do i use the vemi vemis vemi vemi something I totally forgot about the the name of the the brand so anyway um the red cup there said anodized red. Oh, I also put the Mishimoto, the Mishimoto, um, whoa, crap. Uh-oh. I also upgraded my radiator, the Mishimoto radiator, the hose. Yep, so I did a lot of upgrade on this car. So I'm having fun so far. Alright, so see you guys in a bit.